What's going on guys? When I banded back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball Fighters and Master Roshi's trailer was just revealed on the Dragon Ball Fighters show um, that was being live streamed or still is being live streamed right now actually. Uh, I was streaming it but I turned it off to go edit my trailer reaction and stuff like that. But obviously I think it's time to actually sit down and look through this trailer to see what we got even though it's definitely not much whatsoever. Um, with the delays and everything due to the pandemic, things have been massively slowed down. So, uh, we got damn near nothing out of this trailer. It's literally like a, if we got maybe five seconds of gameplay almost. Um, but I, I still want to sit down and go through a little bit of it and make a little bit of a video out of this just to see what we can actually um, get from Master Roshi. So. The trailer starts off, we already knew this character was coming because it's funny, they always end up doing this thing where they accidentally leak the character before the character actually comes. So just before the actual fighter show happened, they showed the roadmap of what they were going to do with fighters in the coming future, and they actually revealed Master Roshi Showcase that would be happening in September. And we didn't even get a release date in this trailer, We all we got was September. So we have to wait again another month just to get this character, which sucks. But Let's just hop right into this. Obviously, I'm going to have to slow this down because there's not much we can really go off of. Um, but uh, this character, obviously, so far seems, seems pretty basic. But this looks like his standard medium. Then his 2M, which slides, but I don't know, man. That doesn't look that good. Um, and then of course his uh, super move that has to be a super um, into that has to be one of his special moves right there and then from there he goes into the Mufuba we all know the evil containment wave uh, and honestly that looks like whatever move he did on Piccolo gave him a wall bounce that allowed him to actually do the Mufuba and then obviously the Mafuba goes off and he seals Piccolo away. Now my thing is when it comes to that, look, he does this, that takes care of that, and then it ends. The thing about the Mafuba is we know the Mafuba is a an attack that can be done. It kills the user normally. Obviously, that's been retconned so many times within Dragon Ball, it doesn't even matter anymore. But uh it kind of seals the opponent away and so what that kind of means to me this might be a one hitting kill but the thing about it is that looked way too easy to confirm into so yeah I'm not sure and then I think this is his windscreen obviously Master Roshi acting a fool of course um, coming close to the camera two piece out signs and that is all we have um, and then it lets us know that Master Roshi's coming in September. Literally, we got nothing out of this trailer. But again, probably a medium. Medium. And then, of course, his special move, whatever this move does, it looks like it could possibly be a Lariat. Um, a Lariat-style move that once you confirm it, it goes into this Key Blast. Could possibly be a Rekka. So maybe you could, like, um, do this Lariat-style move. Um, and then if you hit the button again can cancel into this key blast here that does give a wall bounce and uh, Looks like it actually confirms into the uh, Mafuba which could be insane and To me this means master Roshi might actually have two level threes Obviously you have the Mafuba and then of course what everybody wants to see is buff Roshi do the full power Kamehameha That would make the most sense to me, but again, there's not much to go off of this at all literally like I, i'm gonna go through this real quick just to count the seconds 37 seconds right here 37 this is 38 <laughs> like honestly it's already it's already almost over literally five seconds of gameplay does the mafuba it's literally only been three seconds and you know obviously the mafuba is a super move or an ultimate it takes a bit of time he does it and then he does his out screen from 37 all the way to um, let's say for, for true gameplay because I mean honestly 
the actual animation of the super doesn't even matter. So we literally got five seconds of gameplay. Five. 37 to 43 seconds. Like that's that's basically it. And then of course again we got his out screen. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Um so obviously this isn't a full trailer, so maybe they might have still have some work to do with this character. Um, the next time we can expect to see Master Roshi is sometime in September when they do the Master Roshi Showcase. And that is the next thing we have to look forward to. Um, was really, really hoping they would give us another character or something like that. Um, because the fact that they, the fact that we had to wait so long just to see five seconds is crazy. They gave us a whole hour before we had to even see this trailer. And it wasn't even really that hype, sadly, but... You know, it is what it is. Master Roshi coming to Dragon Ball Fighter Season 3. If you guys are excited for him, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, Master Roshi is... He's dope. I think he's dope. Um, hopefully he's good. Hopefully he plays really cool. Um, uh, people are worried about his flight or this, his Super Dash mechanic. Um, this is a video game. They don't have to stay true to the show all the way because, let's say, Videl vanishes. We've never seen her vanish. She can vanish. So Master Roshi will be able to super dash. It's not rocket science. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. Please come join the Bandit Army. That's all I got for you. Peace out.